Good afternoon, people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to your favourite round-faced Scottish person complaining about things. That's right, it's the Degusta Box video. So if you are new to my channel or you are just new to the Degusta Box series, the Degusta Box is essentially a big mystery parcel full of food and we have no idea what's in it. It could be snacks, it could be not snacks, <laughs> it could be drinks, it could be ingredients, it could be meal ideas, all sorts of stuff. If you'd like to get your own Degusta Box, please do click the link in the description below. Thanks, let's open the box. The past three months have been quite terrible. So <laughs> we're kind of hoping that this month's box is either going to be good and full of tasty things that we want, or that it's gonna be so bad, it'll be hilarious. As always, I'm not wearing my glasses. So um, if I start cutting off bits of my own face without realizing, or I can't read something, um, even though it's in English, don't be too alarmed. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we have in the box, as always, is this sheet of paper that tells us all about the products inside the box, how much they cost, where you can find them, blah, blah, blah. But as always, we like to keep things a surprise. Ooh, okay, so the first thing we have in here are two bags of Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis with exploding candy. So let's just go and see how exploding this exploding candy is. If you're one of my lovely Polish viewers or from somewhere else in the world, Terry's Chocolate Orange is basically a milk chocolate flavoured with orange oil and it is absolutely beautiful. It's one of... It's probably my favourite British chocolate. It's just... Uh, forgot I had these. There is a decent amount of chocolate orange segments in there. So as you can see, they are tiny little smiley shape. Smiley... Smiley... Smi... They're tiny little shapes of chocolate that kind of look like orange segments. They smell utterly amazing. Let's try the exploding candy. There it is. Really sweet, really creamy, chocolatey, orangey. You can hear all of that popping. Listen, there isn't too much popping candy. Sometimes when you have that, it can kind of fill your whole head and you feel like you're about to explode. Um, <laughs> this is actually a good product from the Degusta box. Thank you. <laughs> Let's move on and see what else we have in here. So we have... <laughs> Chum Fruit Bites in Strawberry Flavor. 100% wild, no fake stuff. Please look into the eyes of this panda and tell me that he doesn't look like he's trying to convert you to becoming a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> he's terrifying. So this looks like it's going to be a dried fruit snack. It counts towards one of your five a day, which we always like. Let's give it a taste. Smells a bit like naked bars or any other kind of vegan fruit bars that you might have had before, but they're in a very interesting shape. They're these tiny, tiny little triangles of this stuff, and they're not a particularly appetizing color. Very gummy, very kind of waxy. Yeah, they're okay. Hyper sweet. Tastes a lot like most of these dried fruit snacks do. But you know what? It's not too bad. Moving on. Okay, also in here we have a bag of coffee from Costa. <clears throat> so this is their Mocha Italia signature blend, ground for cafeteria and filter coffee. I can't actually drink proper caffeinated coffee because my body is a mess. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I can give this to someone who'll like it. Next we have Forest Feast Fruit Balls. <laughs> Milk chocolate, mango, and coconut fruit balls. It's certainly an intriguing packet. It's an unusual packet. Soft, bite-sized balls of exotic dried mango blended with tropical coconut and covered in creamy Belgian milk chocolate. You know what, bitch, that sounds good. I like coconut, I like mango. We love chocolate on this channel. Ooh, that smells bloody lovely. Okay, so the packet is like half empty. It's only a 30 gram packet, so Yes, these might be quite expensive. So they're about the size. Actually, they look a lot like Maltesers. Um, that's quite that's quite confusing. <laughs> I'm excited to try these. Okay, wow. <laughs> so let me just show you the inside of these. They've got this gorgeous 
mango colored kind of orange squishiness. That was really not an appetizing way to describe anything. <laughs> There's a decent layer of chocolate on there. You get a definite kind of sweet, chewy hit from the mango. And that coconut just kind of permeates everything. Mm. They are really good. I did not expect them to be so good. Mm. Big fan of those. Oh, we have another product from Forest Feast. So these are just fair trade dried mango slices. So I have had lots of dried mango before. I'm a big fan of it. So I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, moving on, we have some relish. A little bit less exciting on the snack front. So this is just a regular tomato relish from the Ballymolo. So Ballymolo, I think it's a cookery school in County Cork in Ireland. So this is probably gonna be pretty good. Um, I'm probably not going to sit and eat this relish on camera for you just now, but that's, that's decent. We all like a condiment. Okay, we have a couple of chocolatey looking things in here, lads, which is very exciting. <gasps> this, this, this is a good box. So these are two individually sized chocolate bars from Green and Blacks. We have one in praline flavor, which has a kind of hazelnutty center and one in dark truffle. These look gorgeous. I was kind of scared these would be like protein bars or something because honestly, this box has been doing that to me recently. Normally green and blacks only come in kind of big 100 gram bars, a bit like lint bars. These are banging. So let's try one. Let's try this praline one first. Like that is a sexy piece of chocolate, my friends. Look at it. Mix, it's just screaming. Mm. Yes, <laughs> chocolate is beautifully tempered. It's crisp. So when you bite in, you get a good snap. It's dark, which makes it very rich. But then you get into that nutty kind of hazelnut center, which is a little bit creamy, but it's got those crispy, crunchy hazelnuts in there. And you can tell have been like roasted a little bit to give them that extra flavor. That's amazing. Mm. Let's try the dark one. Again, a very sexy bar. This one smells like it's going to be richer though. So again, quite a sweet dark chocolate, nothing too bitter, but there's a lovely thick layer of it surrounding this kind of soft, creamy chocolate ganache center. That is absolutely beautiful. That's quite similar in taste to, if you're one of my Polish viewers or if you've ever had Polish chocolate, the texture and taste of that chocolate reminds me of the E. Vedel milk and dark chocolate. Gorgeous snap to it, great flavor, even if it is a little bit sweet. Big fan of those. Moving on, another snacky snack. We have a Kind Bar. So I've heard of these, I think they're an American brand. So this is dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. Wow, okay, that smells amazing. It smells really savory and nutty. Really big, ballsy kind of nut, <laughs> nut, nut smell. Yeah, <laughs> I can't speak today and I definitely can't make things sound appetizing, but it smells great. And you can see that there's that kind of dark chocolate underneath and drizzled on top. Let's taste it. Ooh, that's my teeth broken. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the nuttiest, nutty thing I've ever eaten. Really bold flavor of peanuts, bold flavor of almonds, and then that little kind of sweetness of the dark chocolate just rounding it off. I mean, you can tell this isn't a health bar, even though it is advertised as that because it tastes like delicious sugar roasted nuts, but that is great. Moving on, another chocolate bar. Ooh, girl, I love this brand. I can't, I can't really afford this brand, but I love it. So this is a chocolate from Willie's Cacao. This is a kind of fairly small British company. They make proper bean to bar chocolate. So they manage kind of the whole process and it's really minimalistic ingredients so that you get a big kind of bold chocolate flavor from it. Very little sugar, you know, they don't add vanilla to their chocolate. It's just the kind of, the most kind of raw chocolate experience you can get that will actually taste good. Um, I won't taste this just now because I have had it before. I'm very happy with that. We have three more products in this month's box. The first of those is 
Red Red Super Stew's Spicy Red Beans and Sweet Potato. It's like an instrument. This is a super stew made with red beans and sweet potato infused with a spicy blend of ginger, cayenne pepper and cardamom. It's vegan, it's gluten free and it basically just looks like a funky version of a pot noodle, really. Love the branding on it. It's not the most practical size if it's meant to be portable. But yeah, the idea is that you fill this with boiling water, stir it, leave it for five minutes, and then you've got like a stew. That's pretty cool. It sounds a bit campfire, <laughs> but in this packaging, it actually sounds like a good idea. Again, I'm not gonna try this just now because I just had lunch and I've got 18 chocolate bars to eat now, but I'm happy to receive that. Two more products. First of which is, a wee can of moose juice. So this is extreme energy in passion fruit flavor. Now this just sounds like it's gonna give me diarrhea. And um, it's, <laughs> it's a carbonated passion fruit flavor caffeine drink with branch chain amino acids, B vitamins and sweeteners. Um, just loaded with caffeine. As I said, I can't really have caffeine even in its tastier form, so there's no way in hell I'm drinking this because I might die. Uh, but I'll find someone in the family who likes it. The final product of this month's Degusta box is a Weetabix on the go strawberry breakfast drink. Now, I have had these before. I think they taste kind of weird. They're very thick. It's like a milkshake. If a milkshake was kind of wheaty, it's a bit not granular, but it's kind of thick and almost powdery. I think these are fairly healthy or whatever, like they're full of fiber and protein and stuff like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of them just because of the texture. I'd rather just drink some strawberry flavored milk like a child. Um, but yeah, they're, you know, they're handy to have if you need to eat on the go. Anyway, that folks was a very satisfying box. I can't, I can't lie. We've gotten two bags of chocolatey things, We've got some mind-blowing mango and coconut stuff, some great chocolate bars, condiments. You know, there's been a couple of little kind of less than great things, but overall, this has actually been a very, very good box in strong contrast to the last couple of months. Let me know what you guys think of this month's box. Would you be happy to receive it? Do you think any of these products look exciting? Do you think kind of meh? Let me know in the comments below. This has given me hope to continue this series. I hadn't really wanted to continue with the Degusta Box videos, but you guys seem to really enjoy them and we've actually got some great stuff this month and good value for money, I think. In the meantime, that's all I have for you guys today. I have a lot of chocolate to eat. I'll see you for the next one.